Last week I started developing the first game mode, but it soon turned out that an optimization is long overdue. So most of the progress was made at that area. There were also lots of bug fixes, but let's skip those and first start with the smaller updates. Jumping feels better now, previously it felt a bit floaty. Now the falling phase of the jumps are faster than the jump itself. And also there is a friction as well. Previously when you stopped moving, you instantly stopped. Now there is a stopping phase where you lose velocity based on the friction. Currently, as you can see, there is a very high friction, so it's nearly unnoticeable. But it feels better and lets me add surfaces with different frictions, like ice. Which will be pretty useful in some future game modes. And now to the first game mode. It took me a time, but now you can place voxels, not just on the terrain, but now on other voxels as well. This was necessary because, as I mentioned in the previous video, Instead of building the base from the ground up, in the first game mode you start with an existing one, which you can extend, repair, etc. I wanted a huge fort, which will give home to buildings, which will be important game mechanic wise. So I created a basic one for prototyping. And now optimization problems have arisen. I experimented with mesh combining in the beginning, but there haven't been any big playtesting yet, we couldn't reach this amount of voxels in a single session, so I didn't really care about it. Until now. First I imported my old single material mesh combiner script, and surprisingly it was easily integrated. But because my voxel structures have multiple materials, it messed up a lot of things. So I had to upgrade it, so it could handle multiple materials. It didn't take long and I had it up and running. Obviously my frame rate wasn't as high as in the single material version, but it was still pretty great. But there was a problem. Now the algorithm was much more compute heavy. Until then, when a voxel state was changed, it caused the whole structure to be recombined. Which with this improved algorithm caused a massive frame rate drop. I solved this by implementing a chunking system, so only changed chunks would be recombined and not the whole structure. Chunking was based on some heuristics, so that most of the time a structure is, for example, damaged, the amount of changed chunks will be minimal. A quick example, upon a cannonball impact, instead of combining 4000 voxels for a 40 voxel change, now it only recombines around 200. Which is a huge improvement, and this is just the beginning. Now performance is as good with 10,000s of voxels, as it was a few days ago at maximum with under 100 voxels. Now that performance is ok, the next task is implementing the whole match system. I already started doing that, but networking with UNET feels clunkier and clunkier day by day. If you are interested in my project, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.